hi everyone welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be answering another question for the weekly vlog hop this is question number eight um, and as you guys know there are other youtubers participating uh, in this vlog hop as well and I'll put the link below in the description to their channels as well as the playlist with all the different videos from everyone uh, so this week's question is if you were given the chance to do a creator's a label doll or to design your own doll, what would you add, take away or improve from it? Uh, what kind of style would you choose and which doll, uh, pull-up doll, BU, Taeyang or Isol? So uh, if I were given a chance to do a creator label uh, doll, I would uh, choose probably a pull-up doll uh, just because I think pull-up dolls are you know, most people I think favorite uh, doll out of the line. Um, I think, um, as you guys know, I don't know if you guys know, uh, creator label dolls are, I think, usually, from my understanding, is that Groove will maybe partner up with a designer who's not uh, their general designer within the company, so a different designer. Um, you know, like Cheryl Designs and. Uh, Mitsubashi Baby B, I think I'm saying, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, so when they pair up with these different uh, designers uh, to create a doll, you know, something different. So I was actually surprised when I was looking at my collection at how many dolls that I have that are creator label dolls. And so for me, I think if I were to create my own doll, um, I would definitely like to... Um, you know bring I think do something more like um, like these two over here they're actually from the creator label uh, series so we have Isu Glenn um, who has a fantastic face up and this is something that I would love to do um, in my doll if I were to create my own doll would be to have an elaborate face up something that's more unique um, you know than our usual uh, pulp dolls that we get Although I think Groove has been improving on doing different types of face up. I personally like dolls that have a lot of makeup in their face. And so for me, um, you know, like Isu Glenn here, he's a very unique uh, boy doll, especially because he has all these big eyelashes and a very uh, elaborate eyebrow. Um, so I would definitely do dolls that had uh, unique face ups. Um, also, or like Sila here, for example, she also has a unique face up, you know, she has these different eyebrows. And so I would do something like that. Uh, in terms of a general style, you know, I would, I, there are two, I think, lines that I would like to see. I would like to see maybe sort of a um, kind of forest fairy uh, creatures type of... Um, of character I think so like uh, Sila here you know she's wearing like a pink wig I don't think we see a lot of pull-up dolls that have different uh, hair uh, color wigs so that's something that I would like to add I think uh, to a creator label doll you know just something very um, like fantasy like in a way but maybe not too out there that people would not maybe want to buy the doll to change her up eventually if they wanted to so um, maybe forest creatures of forest um, fairy type theme. I would love to see that in a creator label uh, type of do uh, doll. I would also like to see you know dolls with sweet face ups. You know like Miu Fish uh, does. Um, I know Poison Girl also kind of does the style. Um, Carolina Belmont also has the style in her dolls, and um, also. Um, Gosh, there are other artists who are so great. Um, there's just a lot of artists. I think especially the ones that are becoming very unaffordable uh, for us regular people. So Poison Girl is a dream doll, I think, for everyone. And so um, that would be awesome if Groove would pair up with her uh, to do a pull-up doll. Because she has done the doll, but I would love to see a pull-up um, from her. Um, you know, just uh, Neri Pozo has fantastic outfits. I would love to see a doll by her as well. Uh, you know, she has a sweet face style, um, but she's just very expensive. So, um, you know, we can't afford those. Yummy sweets. Um, I love food themed type dolls. So that's another theme that I think would be cool uh, for Groove to make, uh, but not so literal. So I think Yummy Sweets does a great job 
uh, in that style. So, th you know, those are kind of artists that I think would be cool uh, to do uh, dolls with. Um, but if, you know, and Miyu Fish, I think Miyu Fish, she could do either a pull-up because I will buy a pull-up from her anyway. But Miyu Fish also does a great job with, like, um, Yolo Maze and um, Dows, you know. She makes it look so cute and kind of like a forest sprite type thing. So that would be adorable as well. Um, and then maybe also a Mori style type of doll in terms of like putting, um, you know, mohair wigs on a doll. I think that would be so fantastic um, if they ever did a doll like that, you know, with some little cute like flowery dresses maybe like this with a little cute sweater on top and little boots. I would totally buy that in a heartbeat. Um, so I think um, that would be sort of the style that I would like to see in a creator label doll. Uh, in terms of improvement, I don't know um, improvement necessarily. I mean, I think Gaylene is one of the coolest creator label dolls out there because she comes with an accessory and I wish they would do that more often with certain dolls. Uh, maybe include certain accessories, like if they had a creator label sort of a sweets line, I think they could do maybe accessories and kind of so you can build your own little cafe. So, for example, one of them would come with a chair, and the other one would come with a little table, and another one with a little chair, so that way, you know, they could each kind of, um, and their little, like, cupcakes or something, so that way you can buy the collection and make a set with it. So I think that would be something cool to see. Um, yeah, so I think that's my answer to that question. Uh, let me know down below in the comment if you have a different idea or, um, you know, things that you think Groove could improve uh, on in terms of doing the creator label uh, dolls. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more pull-up videos and I'll see you next time. Ciao!